course is probably one of the most dreaded topics you will face as a front-end developer and if you are a front-end developer you probably have seen this course red error somewhere in your browser which says that you are not able to request this data or perform this script execution because of course error. In this video my aim is to break down the generic overview of what course error actually is, why this is needed, why this happens and what you should do about this. Let's go. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. This video is a part of Codedam's t-shirt giveaway program for the month. If you want to take part and win an amazing Codedam t-shirt, all you have to do is leave a comment on this video about what you think and that's it, you are eligible. If your comment gets a heart from Codedam, you will win a t-shirt for absolutely free. Course, course stands for cross origin resource sharing let's let's wait on the name a bit so we have a few mouthful words cross origin re resource sharing what does that mean well before coming to that we will discuss something known as same origin policy in browsers now this policy right here is super interesting because this is a security measure implemented by browsers let's say you visited bank.com right and you logged in into your bank you did the transaction but you did not log out right you forgot to log out now what your browser would do is that it stores something known as cookies in your browsers and the next time you visit bank.com you don't have to log in again right because your cookies are there now this is fine this is great user experience but the reason the browser is able to do that is because when you land on bank.com and let's say this bank.com send an api for example api slash get transaction when it calls this api your browser automatically sends that cookie header uh, with your legit value right on the first load that's why you were able to just see all the transactions on the dashboard right this is great but this is problematic let me tell you how let's say you are now visiting attacker.com now remember that at this point also you are logged in into bank.com right so your browser remembers that you have logged in let's say this attacker.com also tries to call the same api right now if it is able to call this api your browser knows that hey this person is already logged into bank.com right so i'm just going to use this cookie and it's going to return this data to attacker.com now remember this code right here running on attacker.com can do malicious stuff right it can just fetch and then send it to its own server right it can do it your bank won't do it hopefully but it can right and it's bad so so could any other site abc.com or you know def.com whatever so what browsers did is browsers implemented a policy known as same origin policy which request you know restricts access of certain functionalities of the browser one of which is api calling you know an xhr request or a fetch request to only the origins which have same origin now what same origin is you can pretty much read the list of all the same origins but i can give you some examples for example, HTTPS codedam.com is different origin from HTTPS colon 1234. Why? Because they have different port numbers. Similarly, HTTP and HTTPS would also be different origins. If you have obviously a different domain, then also that's a different origin. If you have different top level domain, then also it's a different origin. If you have different protocol, then it's a different origin and so on, right? So what you have to remember that same origin policy restricts this behavior and how it restricts this by implementing cross origin request sharing. Now, what this means is that when attacker.com in the real world scenario, what's happening is when attacker.com is trying to make this request what browser would say hold on this seems a bit different because attacker.com is not in the same origin of bank.com or banks.com right this is a different origin this is a different origin browser would say hold on before i actually make this request let me go ahead and do a pre-flight check this pre-flight check right here is super important because what browser does is that instead of performing the actual request browser says i'm just gonna verify this once it's gonna you know whatever you have get post put patch whatever you're using here 
instead of that method it's going to perform a request with options options method right and this is also one of the http methods so options method has a special meaning which the servers are usually configured to return what kind of methods are allowed what origins are allowed to make that request and so on so you would have also heard about uh, origin called uh, header called access control allow origin right so this header right here actually instructs browser should this website which is performing this request should this be allowed to even request this resource or not if it returns a star or you know the http attacker.com then browser makes the actual request which is the api one otherwise browser blocks it now you might be thinking that why can't i just make the same request on server right there is no course on server you can copy and paste this on node.js but the critical piece you have to remember is that attacker.com is not visited by you attacker.com is visited by the victim right i'm assuming you are the attacker in this one so the victim has to visit this website that means even if you could technically make this request on your own backend or server or whatever you don't have this cookie information this authentication information is stored inside a victim's browser that is what makes this attack successful and this pre-flight check successful as well so this is why course is important because if this course check was not there then multiple domains could be talking to multiple different domains and it will be a half as ad. now obviously if you remove cookie from the picture and let's say you have a website for example on codam we manually pass x auth header i think I forgot the name, but X or something, which is a JWT token. So in this case, obviously, even if we don't have cores enabled, this check would still, you know, not be viable attack vector for the attacker because this is populated on the front end by JavaScript code, right? And this is stored in local storage, right? So you cannot really access cross-platform local storage and stuff like that. Like you can attack you can access this API from attacker, but you cannot access the local storage of this, right? So if you're storing it here or maybe in cookie or somewhere and then use it right here directly, you're probably safe. All right, so just to summarize what we discussed, there is something known as cores. We have a same origin policy implemented in browsers, which is a security measure, which says that you can only perform certain actions if your origin always matches, right? Then how the world would work if cores wasn't there you would be having a lot of attacks on banks and everything but course is there thankfully so browsers do a pre-flight check that is they would actually check if you are even allowed if this attacker is even allowed to make this request it goes to this url with the options of method of options gets the data which is the header and the allowed methods and stuff like this and depending on that blocks this request or let it go you know depending on what the end server says so yep and by default if this is not returned then as a security measures browsers always block the request so that's obviously there but that is all course is about right the next time you have a course error the first thing you have to see is this thing access control allow origin are you whitelisting your origin or not if your pre-flight check is successful or not if you are doing different cross origin request at all even for example if you are on codedam.com and if you do a slash api slash whatever then this is not a course request right it's not because you are on the same origin right so your pre-flight check and all this stuff would never happen on the same origin so yeah that's pretty much it for this video hopefully you understood something new about course and dealing with it that is all for this one if you liked it make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching i'm gonna see you in the next video really soon.